big mango tree, you don't put this, you want to feed it and you want to give it this new nutrient so it can grow more fruit. Now, you can also do this. Wait, 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 wait. And I'm asking a student how they found the teacher. This is a bug. He's asking the teacher how they found the student. But uh, I would suggest that we sit in a PM. Please to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. That Mr. was my pleasure. Is Andrew? He carries. I'm very agreeable. Yes, he is. Good morning, gang. Oh, here come the girls. There's all the girls. Come to say hi. Only twenty percent of those camps have camp management all day. I mean, they come at they come okay. at seven a.m. So will you tell them Tuesday and Thursday there's doctors coming here yeah. if yeah. they want to bring their kids. This is the camp we're working with. I'm just moving now. To get, if I get away, you maybe I can just this guy work with you. We'll see, we'll see. That's so when it happens, bring your kids. It's called Camp Soleil. It's right beside City Soleil, right in. Uh, Pretty much kind of the heart of Fort au Prince, Haiti. It's May 16th, 2010 today. So it's also a place to have to hide gang. Gangs? Gangs, that's mean bad guys. But there's also good people and normal people down here. But those gangs, as I said to you the other day, some of them they are just government. Mm -hmm. I am impressed with how clean they've been keeping them now. Looking here. Wow, they really full, stink. Full of magnets and stink like hell. Holy shit. Let's see if we can go up that hill. Okay, we could get out here and I can look around a little bit. I cannot go any further. So here's the toilet. Defecation occurs directly into this drum. Defecation and urination and all of the toilet paper, everything goes inside this toilet. After the toilet is used, we have this uh, sawdust that we're using as a cover material. This is the sawdust. It's, uh, it's from a factory that makes amorous oil. It's actually fragrant. It smells uh, flowery. And it goes right into the toilet after the toilet is used so that the contents are completely covered. There's no turds or anything exposed and the flies uh, aren't attracted to it. The lid is always kept down. Um, when you get the drum out, you simply lift that up, slide it out like so. Take the lid. Just give a little bit more look in there, Jack. Feel the shot. Put the lid on. Get right in there, man. And then set the, uh, the container, the drum outside, and put an empty one in. And then the drums are set out side with the lid. Somebody will come around and collect them. And then they go into a compost system. The advantage of these toilets is that, as you can see, everything is collected, nothing is going into the environment, nothing's going into the ground, nothing's going into the soil, nothing's going into the water, everything goes into a compost system 
where it's all recycled and turned back into soil. It's a hot compost or thermophilic composting system. So Bobby, Bobby Duval, can you explain to me what you're doing with here with this compost? Is well, what we do, we receive the garbage from, okay. you know, the camp and everywhere else, wherever we can dump it here. And we have these people over there, that's where the triage is. And they're separated. And they're separated. They're separated to compost, okay. which is 80%. 80% of it is organic. 80% of the is organic. Your hand in there. Oh, they're already getting hot. That's it's getting hot in there. And this is just for gas, or what is this? No, no, this is garbage. Manure or just garbage? Everything, everything. Okay. It's from anything organic. 80% of the garbage in Haiti is organic. This is garbage they're bringing in from the city, from the town. And if you look closely, you can see it's already composting. There's actually steam coming out of it as he digs. So we've already had a thermophilic condition just bringing this stuff in. It seems that all you have to do is pile organic material up here and it'll start composting immediately. Uh, probably because it's so damn hot every day. Well, we did get a bunch of bagasse in and a bunch of sawdust, so we have the basis for making compost, but it's getting the damn toilets built. Uh, that's been the challenge right now. We've got the toilet loose, but we need little privacy stalls, and we're not having... Uh, this is the water station, by the way. Uh, this kid wants gum and water. This is our mountain of uh, bagasse. Kids are playing on it. This is our sawdust for inside the toilets. Okay, so here's the history in the making. We've got our first edition of the uh, soil containers into the compost pile. We've got a, a pallet structure, keeping it all together. Uh, Joe Jenkins is uh, in the well we're now, just washing the bins keep them nice, pour the water straight onto the compost pile. Uh, and all of this is very odor free. Okay, this is Andrew Larson. He's on our uh, the turd team here from Utah. We, uh, we put uh, a bunch of toilet material in this compost pile yesterday. And this is bagasse on top, sure came bagasse. You notice there aren't any flies and really there's no odor either. Smell anything? Nope. And we're just checking the temperature of this. This is less than 24 hours later. I can smell a little bit of compost odor, or, yeah, or that's aroma around the edge. But so we're checking the temperature. It's 24 hours later. Less than 24 hours later, we're reaching. We're reading almost 150 degrees Fahrenheit, which. Uh, the pathogen death at that temperature uh, occurs in minutes. Well, here's an overview of the compost yard. Our compost down here is just some garbage, <laughs> organic material. A little toilet we put in a corner. This is supposed to be our compost yard out there. Um, this is the guys, I, I just told them don't bring any more, we, got, we don't have any more room. This is the camp, we're part of it anyway, it's kind of windy today. Um, these are some of our pallets, this is Dan over here, he's, he's uh, going to be the project manager or man on the ground or what is it? To, to be decided, but hopefully project manager. He's going to be one of our main men here.